All right, guys, Pet Man here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at the Mecca Conference, uh, conference top to bottom that, you know, me and Dale both think is the, the most competitive conference in the uh, Charlotte area. Uh, right now, according to the best of last, this is where we look at it. Uh, number one's Mallard Creek, number two, Vance, third, A.L. Brown, fourth, Huff, fifth, North Mecklenburg, sixth, West Charlotte, and seventh, Hopewell. And just looking at that list, I think you got five playoff teams in that uh, league right there, those top five teams that I just listed. Uh, Mallet Creek, obviously, uh, a lot of stuff going out about, you know, how they, they can't defend the pass. Um, it's just giving them a lot of trouble. And, you know, with the athletes they have, you, you, you figure that's something that they're going to get corrected here heading into conference play. Um. You know, but they've they've passed a lot of their tests. They they lost to Burns, obviously, on the block field goal. But you know, they beat McDonough, they beat Butler, and you know they they're facing good t competition, getting ready for the playoffs. And Coach Palmieri came out and said that's that's his goal. He wants to get his team ready for the playoffs and you know try to win a third you know title in a row. So they're two time champions. You can't bet against them. Um, that's why they're they're the favorite in my eyes right now. Uh, they got a big challenger in Vance. Uh, Vance has obviously played really well on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, defensively, they had some struggles against South Point. Uh, that's their only loss. Uh, but they've got athletes all over the field. Uh, they got a running game. They have a passing game. I think that's what you need uh, in order to succeed against the best of the best. Uh, and, you know, against Mallet Creek, obviously, they have trouble stopping the pass, like people say. Uh, they're going to come out and they're going to throw it and test them. And they've got two threats on the outside that can go get it. A, a quarterbacks have been putting up great numbers, been played a week multiple times already. Um, you know, defensively, the question is, can they stop Mallard, Mallard Creek? And that's the conversation we were having uh, the other night. Um, you know, that's going to be a heck of a battle um, once they play in here in a few weeks. Um, but you can't sleep on these next teams. A.L. Brown, um uh, kind of been out of the spotlight playing some teams outside of uh, the immediate Charlotte area, but they've been, you know, running through, you know, a couple teams, Northwest Cabarrus and uh, South Orwan. They destroyed those guys, inferior opponents, which is always good to see. And you can't, you, you know, Mike Newsom's obviously, he built Butler up, so he knows this area. He knows what it takes to, to win against these uh, Charlotte type of teams. And he's got the talent this year at A.L. Brown. And don't be surprised if they, they pull an upset, if, you know, Mallory Creek or Vance is having an off night. Um, they've got the ability to do it. They've got the defense now to go with the offense. That's been, you know, pretty good the past couple years already. So, you know, watch A.L. Brown. They're, they're traditionally a, a strong team. They have a good following. Going up there to play is not going to be easy now that they're, you know, good again. They're going to have those fans out there. And making that environment a tough place to play if you're going on the road. So you can't sleep on the wonders. Uh, Huff, um, number four here in the conference. Um, they're a, a heck of a team. I think in any other league, they'd be a, a second place team at least. Um, they, they've got talent. Um, not as much talent as they've had in the past. But what they have, they're maximizing it to the best. They play fundamentally well. Um, they're well coached. Um, I like them a, a good bit here. Uh, but they're in a, a heck of a league here. I think they're a playoff team. Um, they've already got their four wins. Uh, they can drop the loss um, they had to Butler the other night. And, um, you know, I, I think they're going to be right there in it. Somebody you don't want to see in the first round there. Their quarterback, is, uh, Jackson Gibbs, uh, Joe Gibbs' grandson, is improving, you know, game by game. Their defense is, has played well. Once they get healthy, um, they'll be at full strength and ready to go. And they're going to need, you know, everyone they, they're – they um, have on that roster to challenge here. Uh, North Mex having a special year so far, four and one, uh, best season they've had in, in several years. Uh, Coach Baker came from Morrisville, built this program back up. Uh, North has been, you know, decimated by new schools opening, taking away, you know, talent that's now starring at places like Mallard Creek, uh, places like um, Hopewell in the past, um, and even at Huff as well. So, you know, North Mech has a great tradition. A lot of people don't know that. But, you know, back back in the old days, they, they were they were a team that nobody wanted to play. And Coach Companion and those guys. So, 
they're trying to bring that North Mech tradition back and um, you know, wish them the best. They're hard hitting defense, they're um efficient on offense and make the most of what they got. And um it's good to see them back uh doing well. Uh West Charlotte talking about tradition. Um they're getting better. Um I think they kinda took a little step back here against Barry uh this past week. But they they went down the uh Belmont South Point, lost to them by one, had a chance to win the game, went for two, didn't get it. Um, but you know, when you play with a team like South Point, you know, that's a, that's a good sign that, you know, Coach Hart and uh, his message is getting through. Um, they've got athletes, they got speed. Um, you know, one of those middle tier teams kind of um, sleeps on West Charlotte. They're going to be in for a rough night. I think their offense is getting a lot better. And um, defensively, you know, they're still, you know, working through some things. But this is a team, you know, you got to watch. You can't sleep on them. And hope well. Uh, they they worked, you know, being competitive in some games. Their loss to Davie County was kind of disappointing. Thought they had a shot in that game. But, you know, they're young. You know, they're still, you know, learning how to win. Uh, Coach Gray in his first season still, you know, putting his touches on that team. Um, obviously, I think the future is bright for them. They're well coached. Um, schematically, I like what they do. Um, so that's that's the mecca right now. Um I tell you, it's a heck of a conference, and those games are going to be fun to watch if you're a fan of one of those schools. And even if you got a, a, a school that, that's off on a Friday night, no, we don't have a lot of buys now, but, you know, catch one of those Mecca games, man. It's, it's going to be a heck of a lot of talent on the field. Uh, great coaches in that league, um, and, you know, just great competition all the way around, so... I think you got five playoff teams there. Um, it's going to be a heck of a battle to see who gets those top three spots for those automatic bids. So um, good luck, guys. Play safe. I wish you all the best. Thanks.